Hi, it's Rob here from Bay Marine Electronics. Today we're taking out our new Panoptix through-hole transducer uh, and we're going to teach you how to use the quick draw software in a saltwater environment. So that's one where we've got to set the tidal offsets and also the transducer offset. First thing we're going to do is to set up the transducer depths uh, so that the unit knows what depth we've installed the transducer. The transducer we've got today is a through-hull Panoptix transducer. Now, this will give us a, a multi-beam view of the bottom. Uh, you can do it with a single beam transducer, it just takes longer, you need to go over the area more to pick up that many points. So what we're going to do is to go into sonar and then select what fish finder you're using. Today we're using the, down, the Panoptix transducer, so live view down. And then you just go into menu, sonar setup, installation, and then installation depth. So we actually have our transducer installed around about a half meter below the waterline. So 0.5, done. So that's now giving our, our depth offset correctly. Uh, so that's the first step. Then what you need to do, go into your chart. It doesn't matter which chart, um, any of them will do. And what you want to do for a start is actually figure out what the tide is doing. Currently the software does not work this out automatically. You do need to add a tidal offset and you will need to change it every hour or so. So what we do, tap anywhere on the screen, go into information, tides. This will bring up the local tidal stations. Our closest one is Tauranga. Then you need to hit current date and time. So currently we are 1.1 meters above chart datum. We want all of our charting to be at chart datum. So what we're going to need, need to do is to take that into account. So we go into menu, quick draw contours, settings, and then we need to subtract that 1.1 meters. So here is our recording offset. We want a negative 1.1 meters. Now we're subtracting 1.1 meters to get back down to chart datum. We're currently sitting, the, the water level is sitting 1.1 meters above chart datum. We want to bring it back down to, to chart datum. 1.1 meters, done. And then when we go back, we can just hit the start recording. Uh, there at the moment I've got stop recording, but it normally says start recording when you're not recording. Uh, and and that'll, that's all you need to do. Now we can go around and make our quick draw contours. You can see there we've actually made uh, just made one pass around the uh, entrance there to Tauranga Harbour. If I zoom out a bit, you'll see where we are. This is Mount Monganui. Uh, and so we just made our one pass, but you can see when it redraws, uh, quite a detailed picture of the bottom.